This is our little stability meter that we have in the rental fleet. Uh, just a quick operation guide. Let's take this uh, pot shot out and uh, put a standard in there. I'll put in uh, this. This is uh, 20 NTU. Uh, just for reference, by the way. So that's that's what 20 NTU looks like. This is what 0.1 NTU looks like. That is what 100 NTU looks like. And uh, this is what 800 NTU looks like. Okay, so we'll put this into the machine. Press the on button. Uh, first option, reading. First option again, normal. Enter sample and press read, okay. And there, uh, that's pretty good, that's uh, 20 NTU and the sun plus 20 NTU, so we can't complain about that. Um, so that's the basic function of the machine. Uh, the standards you've just had a look at, we don't supply these uh, with the rental unit because uh, they don't travel very well, so we keep them uh, ourselves and we calibrate and bump test uh, this equipment. But it's incredibly reliable. This particular unit I haven't uh, calibrated uh, for a few weeks and as you can see it's uh, absolutely spot on with this particular sample, um, but uh, within a few percent should be good. Um, obviously, so this is an optical reading device. Uh, the optics are inside uh, this little hole here. We need to make sure that there's no water and dust that gets in there. So normally if, there's, uh, if the machine is not being used, uh, we put in a clean and dry sample pot uh, to uh, uh, stop anything from uh, falling in there. Uh, so you get uh, a collection of sample pots. There are four here in the case. Um, and uh, the good operation of this mean machine will rely on a very clean uh, and dry piece of uh, glassware on the outside at least anyway. Um, so uh, you've got a glasses cloth and then uh, a few, another cloth in here that really just to, to absolutely to make sure that these um, uh, vessels are as clean as they possibly can be. There's a little bit of silicon fluid here as well to, to help with that. Uh, the range of this machine is from 0 to 1000 NTU. Uh, if your sample is more turbid than that, there is a little um, pot here for dilutions. I'm not sure whether you can see the scale on there, but uh, you can uh, dilute a sample um, and then you can multiply out uh, uh, the reading that you get. Obviously, don't forget that you'll multiply any error uh, by doing that as well.